Hello, it's Stacey from the Loom Room France here with, uh, we've now renamed him Cassius the Cockerel in the background. Um, reasons to be cheerful. There are the simple things such as, let me just turn you round so that you can see my simple Sunday lunch today is, can you see that? Sorry. I'm not very good at directing the, uh, the camera here. A simple chèvre cheese ham and cucumber from the garden, followed by fromage blanc and honey, which is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and a little bit of white, chilled white wine, a Bordeaux wine, which will be delici delicious. I nearly said delicia. Um, so today, uh, this week, actually, it's been an interesting week. There's also a, there's a bit of sadness and disappointment because uh, Belinda in Australia, who's organised my Australian teaching tour this summer and I had to come to the conclusion that we had to cancel it for this year which is really disappointing for us we've both put a lot of work into the organization well she's put a lot of work into the organization of it off her own bat this, this woman is just incredible and obviously I've put a lot of work in in terms of teaching materials and getting it all together and organized and it was with a very heavy heart that we both decided we had to cancel. And just this morning, I'm, we had the cancellation through from um, the airline that the, the, the flight has been cancelled, which we didn't know before, but with, I think it would have to be 10 extra weeks of quarantining to arrive first of all in Australia and then between each of the, of the workshops that I was giving. And then when I get back to France, if when I got back to France, I would also have to probably quarantine coming from Australia and passing through three other countries to get here. So it was a it became totally unworkable and we had to make the decision to cancel. So obviously the beginning of the week was a lot of disappointment. And then you sit down and you think, OK, now, the six weeks that I was going to be traveling to Australia and traveling around Australia and teaching, what am I going to do? There are six empty weeks on my calendar now. And for a, for a moment, you sit there and think, wow, oh, I can have a summer holiday. And then you think, actually, there are going to be opportunities coming up that I can take advantage of that wouldn't have presented themselves before. And so this week, I am... Um, relaxing into the fact that okay that decision has been made and game over as far as that's concerned we hope to postpone it and, and do it another year that would be good brilliant but now I'm trying to keep as open as possible to whatever opportunities come up this summer it's probably only going to be French people that we can help this summer probably not with weaving courses but ideas are starting to bubble around. So, um, yeah, disappointment, but also different opportunities. And I hope that wherever you are in the world, I know everybody's at different stages with their removal of lockdown. Ours is now progressing further. More movement, but not international travel, really. Mainly within Europe, but not further afield. So things are just going to be different this summer. And... Yeah, we just roll with it, enjoy the lovely weather that we've got now and see what happens, see what opportunities arise and then what we can do about those opportunities. So wherever you are in the world right now, I hope you are keeping well and keeping safe. And until we meet again, until I speak to you hopefully very soon, <laughs> wherever you are in the world, I'm saying bye-bye from the southwest of France. Bye for now.